Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our 2013 CFL East Final Preview between the Hamilton Tiger Cats and the Toronto Argonauts. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Tiger Cats. I love what I saw last week from the Tiger Cats, and despite the weather conditions, they were able to make plays when it mattered the most, both in the two-minute offense and in overtime. And this week versus Toronto, there's a lot of familiarity with this team, and I expect to see the Tiger Cats take a well-balanced approach into this matchup. The key will be on the inside, both in pass pro and in the running game. So look for Hamilton to work the run game early in hopes to create big plays off play action pass in the passing game. Defensively, Rico Murray played one hell of a game versus Montreal. He was all over the field making play after play. Now this week versus Toronto, the pressure will mostly be on the linebackers and the halfbacks in the passing game as Toronto works the flats and the underneath coverage more than anyone in the CFL. So you may see a lot of creativity from the defense, i.e. zone blitzing with dropping a defensive tackle or maybe blitzing the linebacker and sending the cornerback to replace his responsibility. So I think they have to get creative defensively in order to defend the Argos. Now let's move over to Toronto in this ball game and no one has played better at the quarterback position this season than Ricky Ray. 21 touchdowns to only two interceptions and he's healthy and ready to lead the Argos as they look to return to the Grey Cup. The most important thing this week for Toronto, in my opinion, is getting the running game going with Chad Cackard and company. Quietly, they haven't been dominant on the ground as we saw last season. We know in the passing game, the Argos love to work the perimeter with Chad Owens and the shallow cross with Andre Dury, but versus Hamilton, Toronto has to be able to work outside of the hashes, otherwise they can have some problems versus this Ticat secondary. The Argos possess an opportunistic defense that has gotten better in the secondary as the season progressed, but playing the bend but don't break approach could be a bad recipe versus a team like Hamilton that does so well in the red zone, and they have to be able to make plays in space versus this tie Cats running game. And speaking of the running game, the linebackers must be active versus the run. Hamilton has been able to gas Toronto this season on the ground, so if I'm Robert McCune and company, I'm overreading the run before dropping back into my coverage responsibilities. The X Factor for the Tie Cats will be their flat defenders. They have to be able to make one on one plays in space. They also have to be able to defend the shallow cross and those bubble screens to Chad Owens and Andre Dury. The X Factor for Toronto will be their run defense. Like I've said before, Hamilton has had a lot of success all season long running the football versus this Argos front. So they have to come ready to play, put these guys in second and long situations if they want to be successful. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this ball game. For the Tiger Cats, you want to force the Argos downhill. Like I've said before, they want to make this a horizontal game, force them to play within that tackle box and you can have some success. And on offense, I would keep it condensed with the formations. That way you can get those natural rub routes, those pick routes, and perhaps hit one of those big plays in a running game with CJ Gable and Siobhan Walker. And weak side pressure is key versus a guy like Ricky Ray that doesn't do a great job in feeling the backside pressure and stepping up in the pocket. So I would overload the weak side and send an extra to get him on the ground. And for the Argos in this ball game, second down defense is going to be key. You have to be able to get a team like Hamilton off the field, and you have to out possession the Tiger Cats in order to win. And you want to get Dontrell Emmon involved in the ball game early. He's one of the more talented receivers in the CFL, and playing winning special teams could ultimately lead you to victory. You have one of the more dynamic return units in the league with Chad Owens back there, but your coverage units also have to excel if you want to knock off Hamilton. Earl Winfield is one of the best receivers in team history. He played an entire career in Hamilton from 1987 to 1997, was a two-time All-Star, and finished his career with over 10,000 yards receiving and 75 touchdowns, which is still a franchise record, and was just inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2013. Conridge Holloway was an outstanding quarterback for the Argos from 1981 to 1986, a two-time All-Star League MVP in 1982, and led the Argos to a Great Cup championship in 1983, the first title in 31 years. I like Toronto in this ballgame is their offense's ability to make you cover every blade of grass that makes them tough to defend. And on defense, they're big and physical in the secondary, especially on the corners. And they'll do a great job in matching up versus the passing game of the Hamilton Tiger Cats. So I like Toronto to win this ballgame and move on to the 101st Great Cup. And I also want to give a huge shout out to CFL Fan Forums for always showing football game plan support.